my name is Mary Crowley and I'm here for the Way TV Television Network. We're here in Hollywood for an event that Icon Builders International is putting on and David Fagan. There's people, as you can see all in back of me, there's celebrities and artists and business owners that are here to network with what is going on in the industry. So you want to not miss one second of what's going to happen on this program. Yes, I'm here with Marcello Thetford, and he's an actor, an entrepreneur, producer, and an all-around just great human being. And we're here at this wonderful event, and I'm just so excited to, to talk to you. What what kind of things have you been on on television and other things you've done in the industry? Oh, wow, wow. What I've done, it's been a long road, and the road is still going. Um, I'm an actor, producer, entrepreneur, ex restaurateur. I've done a lot of different businesses out here. Um, as far as acting, you can see me on Sons of Anarchy. You could also see me um, in an upcoming Robin Williams movie with Mila Kunis called Angriest Man in Brooklyn. Also, you can also catch me in, on ER, uh, uh, The Game, um, tons of shows that I've done, I'm, I'm, and tons of action movies I've done. I work with Stallone, the movie Daylight, Volcano with Tommy Lee Jones, Dangerous Minds with Michelle Pfeiffer, um, also the owner of Suso Gallery, um, which is uh, in the heart of downtown Los Angeles, and Gallery Row as well. So um, my thing is, hey, if you're not here, you're supposed to be here, and you're supposed to be enjoying yourself, okay? And so, why did you get involved with Icon Media Builders? Oh man, well it, the name says itself right there. I mean, Icon. Who does not want to be an Icon? You know what I'm saying? Better than being an ex-con, obviously. Being an Icon is one of the most amazing things. No, David T. Fagan is an amazing guy. Um, I've known him for a little while now, and seeing how he works, what a gentleman, what a scholar, um, totally expert talk that he gives me all the time. He really helps me in the, the business that I'm doing, and I appreciate and I'm thankful to know a guy like him. Now, when you first started in the business, because there's a lot of people from all over the world that will be watching this, and, you know, people get intimidated when you talk icon. What would you say to the guy that's just starting out, that doesn't know how to become an actor? How did you get your start? Well, to the people out there, I say man up, okay, at the end of the day, okay? If you you got to talk about it, and you got to be about it. There's no time like the present at the end of the day. What I say to everybody all the time, in order to be that icon, you have to be unattached and obsessed at the end of the day. You have to love what you do and want it for all reasons that are good, okay? So that's the first thing about that. The second thing is what I have to tell people at home is that, listen, it's not, don't be scared of living up to a title because at the end of the day, you have to live up to something. And why not just be an icon at the end of the day? Be a winner, not a loser. You can make something out of yourself just like anybody else. Look at me, 300 pound guy, and, and look what I'm doing at the end of the day. I, I could be pushing boxes at Home Depot at the end of the day, but I'm not. So I'm not saying nothing bad about Home Depot because I do have an endorsement with them. What I am saying though is that at the end of the day, you have to be about it and talk and, and be and walk the walk and talk the talk. Okay. So being an icon is walking the icon walk at the end of the day. So when did you first get started? Where did you grow up in LA, or where did you come from? Long, long time ago. I started off in New York actually, and I started off about 18 years ago or so. And um, actually, what my claim to fame is that the producer Jerry Bruckheimer, uh, that's done everything from Top Gun to American Gigolo to, to the films that you now love and go to theaters, uh, theaters now that you go see and everything, he's the one that put me in the business. And uh, with that being said, he told me I could be anything, and I believed him, and I stuck by him and shadowed him for years, and now yeah, I reap the benefits of those things. Again, and that man is a true living icon at the end of the day. He is, he is truly an icon. Okay, one last question, Marcello. What is What up upcoming things do you have going in the future? And what other things, like, on the side, like, do you have a restaurant? I mean, I, what, what things are you doing, like, business-wise? Well, business-wise, you know, at, currently right now, um, I still go down to Mexico. I have a restaurant down in Mexico. It's called Baja Soul, okay, that I am co-owner with as well. I also go ahead and I'm producing films. I do produce films. I produce and films for seven years in a row. Um, my company is called Mosaic Entertainment. Um, I also have another company called Onyx Films. And we are the leader in uh, DVD distribution as far as African American minority films. Filmmaking is what we do. Um, we have, up to date now, we have offered and given 
about 35,000 jobs that we've done in Hollywood and started careers of people uh, in, in the amount of movies that we've done. So I'm really proud of that at the end of the day. And um, for the future, I'm here. Icons don't die. They live on forever. We, so we're legends in the making, baby. So this is what we do. And um, I agree that you become the same thing, too. Well, I truly think he's an icon. I'd vote for him for president. Hey, look at that. Marcello for president. I can see that. I could definitely see that. The Way TV charity had such a great time doing interviews at the Icon Media Builders event in downtown Los Angeles at the art gallery of Trina McGee and her husband, Marcello Thedford. There were so many great people that are interviewed, and I hope you enjoyed the clips, because truly, they are becoming icons in their field.